Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Edna and today I'm going to be filming a what I eat in a day but it's a keto version because I have seven days into keto. Today's my eighth day and I'm seeing good results. I'm feeling good. So I decided to share. Ovio, I'm not a nutritionist. I'm not perfect. Like, you know, we're still working things out. This is my third time trying keto the first two times i did it in a one month interval and this time this time i do plan to do it like three to six months see what's up and whatnot but for those of you that don't know i am allergic to wheat so it's actually a really good alternative for me um but obviously i could be doing low carb también it doesn't necessarily have to be keto but yeah i'm not gonna lie i'm excited i'm really like looking forward to this journey and whatnot so far i have lost 5.6 pounds four of them are since i started keto so yeah i think i'm gonna stay motivated because obviously i'm starting to see results but before we start the video i did want to have this disclaimer i am very overweight so it will be easier for me to lose this weight so i don't want you like hearing those numbers and being like oh yeah she might be able to lose 10 or 15 in the first month and that may not be the case for you one all our bodies are different Two, I have a lot of weight to lose, so it's going to be normal for me to be losing the water weight first and then some of the fat, and then I'm going to start slowing down a little bit and kind of level leveling out. If you're interested and you want some ideas on what I eat in a day, then just keep watching. Buenos dias, hasta vergüenza, verdad? to be filming like this, but I am so hungry. Um, and today we're filming uh, what I eat in a day, so let's get started. I was going to make some chorizo. Um, chorizo is like a bomb keto meal and then some queso seco on top and it was gonna be so bomb But my mom actually made me an egg uh, She did like a fried egg, but she did like a little tomato sauce beforehand So ahorita que le llame, she explains that she fried a tomato with onion and that kind of made like the little salsa And then she put the fried egg and some mozzarella cheese on top So I'm just gonna warm up some cauliflower rice and then go with that because I am so so hungry and it's almost 11 something and Girl, I've just been working, like I woke up right before work, started working, and then it's just been busy, and now, no aguanto, tengo hambre. It does look a little bit messy, but please don't judge it. It smells so good right now, like all the tomato juice, mm, yum, yum, yum. And then I put my cauliflower rice in a cup, so it comes out like a cute shape. That wasn't perfect, but it's okay. We're gonna do a little bit of sour cream. And then I'm going to go in with queso seco. Queso seco is the freaking best. I feel like sometimes people sleep on the cauliflower rice. But girl, don't sleep on it. Run, it's pretty good. And I know it doesn't look that cute and that appealing. But it's fine. It's like it's going to be really good. This is actually the rice cauliflower that I used. I got it from Sprouts, but you could legit get it anywhere. So don't think this is hard to get. Check out Target, check out Trader Joe's or Sprouts. You'll be able to find some. Just make sure you season this, because if not, no tiene sabor la chingadera. It's kind of along the same lines as tofu, though. If you season it well, it's delicious. I went and stole some green salsa from upstairs. So there we go. Actually, let's make it look prettier with the cheese on top. Yum. Girl, thank God I can have cheese. Te imaginas? I would not be making it. I, I would not be. I wouldn't be able to make it through if I didn't. But um, yeah, that's gonna be breakfast. If I had like a side of avocado right here, oof, this would be perfect. But for now, here we go. Do you guys want to see the love of my life? Oh, so handsome. Isn't he beautiful? Look at these blue eyes. Can you look at the camera, baby? Can you look at the camera? He was like... Oh, oh. <laughs> it's okay. Ow, ow, ow. You're scratching me. You're scratching me. You're scratching me, baby. <laughs> He's so cute. Um, the reason I have him on the blanket is because I don't want to have hair all over me but that's clearly not helping oh i'll put you back oh besito for me okay i'll put you back okay 
so I haven't had lunch and obvio I got ready and changed I haven't had lunch but I wanted to have a snack real quick um, and I did want to try something I don't drink energy drinks I like how I'm using this like a freaking wand I don't want you thinking that I drink energy drinks all the time just I really wanted to try this one. I've been seeing it on a lot of people's channels. It's the Cherry Slush Alani New Energy Drink. And this has no sugar. And it does have three carbs, but I did want to make it clear that you can really have anything. I mean, not anything, but you can have a lot of things. You just have to fit it into your macros. For me personally, I'm a girl, woman, slash whatever you want to call me. And that is usually capped at like 50 grams of carbs a day. And I've been pretty good about it, to be honest. I'm really surprised that I'm not having a lot of cravings. But esto se me antojo, so I'm like, okay, let's let's do this. But a ver, let's open it. Okay. Let me try así. Oh, grown. This is yummy. Oh, yes. Mmm. I like it. The reason I wanted it is because the Alani New Drinks give me soda vibes. And then I also have some chicharrones. So, before ever really getting into keto, I wasn't a big chicharron girl. I was just into regular chips, right? Pero you can't have, I mean, you can. I actually have had chips on keto. But the thing is, it has to fit into your macros, right? So, I'm only able to have them if I haven't had that much carbs during the day. Because it's usually, one serving of chips is usually 15 grams of carbs. So right now this is definitely giving me like a chips with soda moment. Uh. Mm -mm 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 -mm. I'm so happy. The breakfast, the breakfast I had earlier was good, but it wasn't that filling. So now I need a, I need a little something something before lunch, you know? This is good. They are a little pricey. I want to say this is $2.50, which for a small can I feel like that's a lot. But um, con estos precios ahorita, like everything's so expensive, groceries and gas. Oh, girl, thank God I don't use gas. Mm -mm. But um, I guess in combination here, this is 10 calories for the can. So I'm going to do quick math, right? It'll be 90 calories for this, and then it'll be 3 grams of carbs and zero sugar. And this has 8 grams of protein. So, I feel like I'm doing good. But like I said, I have done keto before. So, I am not a newbie at this. Like, I think I'm good. Honestly, I am shook it that I haven't had cravings. Like, only one day, only one day I, like, saw cookies upstairs. And I was like, oh, those look so good. But then, the moment I, like, like opened it and looked at it, I was like, not worth it. And I didn't eat the cookies. You guys should be proud of me. Honestly. Honestly, you guys should be so proud of me. Because I am not that girl. Like, I was eating so much sugar and so much bread. And that's just who I am. I have a sweet tooth. And right now? Mm -mm. I feel like I'm doing... I feel like I'm doing really good. I don't know if it's because I have some short-term goals that are coming up. Like, in the next few months. Or because my mentality had just shifted. I'm not gonna lie. This is probably not the best snack to have. But it tastes so good. This ovio isn't 100% like a cherry slushy, But it does give you that vibe. So I would recommend it. I usually don't go for spicy chicharrones. But I think this is gonna be a new fave. So yeah. I think just filming this I've had a serving already. So I'm gonna let go of the chicharrones. And... Do some work. I'm actually going to switch out my phone case. So let me give you a moment here. Isn't it so satisfying when someone like peels like a little plastic off? I feel like it is. Oh, I love that. We're going to switch out from like this 80s, 90s, like little heart situation. It gives me Powerpuff Girls vibes. That's actually why I got it. Um, and then we're going to, should I clean it? No, I think it's good. I never clean my stuff anyways. Ooh, key. Oh, wait. Todavía tiene el plástico. There we go. This is legit the best phone I've ever had. But in case you're wondering, these cases are from Casetify. I cannot wait until Casetify sponsors me. I'm putting it out into the universe. 
girl you're gonna sponsor me because i love you so much because these are pricey they're like 40 to 50 bucks i don't know mind you i always use a discount code and stuff but i want my own discount code is that too much to ask for i don't think so i don't think so anyways let's go for a walk then we'll be right back okay so I'm gonna make this meal, which I don't know exactly what it is, but my mom made it last time. But she got it for $4.50 a pound. And when I went to get it, me la metieron como a ocho dólares la libra. Yes, eight dollars a pound. For this little piece of bistec, I think I paid nine dollars. I think I'm gonna go vegetarian. How is meat so expensive? I think I've been under like a little bubble because I usually buy like salmon or like the rotisserie chickens at Costco and so I'm kind of out of it I don't realize shit's so expensive but we it kind of hurt it kind of hurt me a little bit but anyways let's chop this up I'm gonna throw it into the walk is that what they're called when they're like my circular this isn't like a full-on walk but kind of um, I'm gonna throw it into the walk just with some garlic salt and while that's cooking I'm gonna chop up the onions and the chile and the tomato so the meat is still cooking um it's gonna take a while so i figured i better get back on my laptop and do some work but um i don't want to finish this i am notorious for opening up drinks and not finishing them especially if it's not something that like i consume on the daily like right now i'm drinking a lot of the sugar-free um iced teas from costco and i love those those are so amazing but ahorita i've been babysitting this for like two hours now and i'm still like over here so i don't know what to tell you but your girl is not a quitter so i'm gonna finish it and you know what else i'm also like so bad for doing this but whenever we go to a bakery i like taking a piece of every single donut or bread that's why i like paying for it because then it's mine and you know everyone better take their bread or their donut because if not there will be a bite in every single pan oh i'm the worst sometimes i think that god gave me so much beauty and charm because i'm a terrible little monster um yeah mm -mm. tea the day i find a man you guys better not warn him don't be telling him that i'm a mess although if you think about it if the worst thing i do is take a bite of everything could be worse right it really could be worse so i think the meat is almost ready but you know what i'm gonna do that's so delicious i excuse the mess in the background Oof, but once that's embarrassing but um i am gonna grab my big old bag of mozzarella cheese this right here i have legit no shame and i'm gonna fry like some little strips on the comal just like anything a pan or whatever you have because I don't know about you, but fried cheese, ooh, is gonna hit so good on the, ooh, let me lower this. Um, it's gonna hit so good on the tacos. Let me show you, let me show you real quick. Now don't come for me because I never said this was gonna be healthy. I just said this was gonna be keto. And honestly, it's working for me, so just, just try it, okay? Just try it. So it's gonna be super simple. We're gonna pour that meat over the lettuce and um, we're gonna pour the meat over the lettuce. Luego le vamos a echar el queso encima. And then if you have some avocado, I would highly recommend to throw that on top. And I love queso seco so much that I'm gonna try one of them with queso seco. A ver qué onda. Let's taste it. I don't think it's gonna be as good as my mom's, but you know, we're all out here trying. Um, it is what it is. Mmm. Mmm. Uh, it's a cheese for me. Mmm. -mm. That burnt cheese gives it a. It gives it a nice kick. It's so good. Mind you, it can be a little messy to eat. Can I focus focus this? Maybe I should have ate in the kitchen. No chingus. I'm getting it all over. But oof, it's delish. Dare I say it's better than my mom's? No. I can't say it. <laughs> it is so, so good. And I did make three because last time I did, last time I messed up, last time I made a whole tortilla out of the mozzarella cheese and it was too much. I was actually only able to eat one. But when you put things on, on the little lettuce wrap, on, it looks like a little boat, um, 
I think you're able to consume more. And so for me right now, it's important to be consuming enough protein and enough fat because I don't want to like tampoco go hungry or anything. You know, I want to be eating well. I just don't want to, I want to be eating well. Just because I'm trying to lose weight doesn't mean I'm, you know, over here trying to starve or anything. So I think this is a really, really good option. It's messy AF, but it's bomb. Do I have? I think I have something on my nose, no genius. Uh, I'm embarrassing. Before I forget, I'm going to show you what I'm going to drink. I'm currently obsessed with these right here. I try to only have one a day because this is it has like, you know, that weird sugar thing that's like not real sugar. Um, but Josue swears it's bad for you. Um, I don't remember what it's called. But yeah, this is what I'm going to be drinking with my little lettuce bee stick tacos. Hey you guys, it is actually the next day. Ayer I was just so exhausted and I ended up not eating anything else aside from what I showed you guys. Well, I did have three Ritz, but I did include it in my fitness pal. And so in total I had about 1,293 calories. And this is obviously an approximation. All right, so it says for carbs, I hit 38 grams, fat 81, and protein 102. And I'm pretty sure my fat is supposed to be higher than the protein. It's super early, I'm so sorry, it's like 7 a.m. But um, I'm not gonna lie, like I did want to try to have that dinner, but I just felt like I was gonna be sick if I forced myself to eat. So entonces, I just went with this, and I know this is pretty low. I think I should be having more like 1600 calories, um, just because I was eating so much, right? My cat is using his litter box right now, I'm so sorry. Something I can do to work on that is to eat my meals earlier than i did ayer because i think i had my first meal like at it was probably like 11 which was late and that's like basically lunch and then my lunch was super heavy right because there was so much protein in it and whatnot so i need to work on that but yeah i hope it gave you ideas and whatnot um now i do feel hungry and i think it's because it wasn't enough, enough calories yesterday but that's definitely a balance i need to work on and yeah i'm gonna end the video here i'll definitely keep you updated with how keto goes and whatnot but yeah thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye bye Mwah. Mwah. who loves you oh no why are you so mean <laughs>